हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी हैव क्वेश्चन पेपर कोड थर्टी वन थ्री वन सेट वन ऑफ साइंस क्लास टेन सो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज पार्ट ए विच वन इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन इज इट प्लास्टिक कप्स और द कुल्हड्स सो इट विल बी पेपर कप्स बिकॉज पेपर कप्स कैन बी रिसाइकल दे आर बायोडिग्रेडेबल एंड दे आर इको फ्रेंडली यू कैन राइट एनी टू ऑफ दीज रीजन इन द क्वेश्चन second option why human beings are most adversely affected by biological magnification you first need to describe what is biological magnification then you need to say that human beings are on the topmost topic level of the biomagnification so they will have the maximum concentration of these chemicals in them thus it affects them the most the reasons uh, why the ordinary washing cannot help is because they are produce uh, pre- present in huge amount in the fruits and vegetables and they cannot be washed off easily with just ordinary water then second we have to make the electron dot structure that this will look like this with the lines but you have to draw the electrons of both the carbon and the hydrogen it will be cyclohexane will be c6 h12 and butane will be c4 h10 moving on to the third question state the criteria used by mendel for his periodic table it will be increasing atomic mass and also he used the similarity of the chemical properties of the elements or the similarity in formula of oxides and hydrides the position of isotopes as the mendelev periodic table was based on the increasing atomic mass so the atomic mass of isotopes of elements are different so they will have multiple position but as per in the modern periodic table it is based on increasing atomic number so only one pos- fixed position will be there of an isotope for the fourth question the resistance will come out to be 44 ohm and the current drawn will be 5 ampere you'll find it by v square by p equals to v square by r and p equals to v by i you can easily find both the values for the b part you can find the resistance which will come out to be 40 ohm for the fifth question uh, two contraceptive methods you need to write any one of the four the chemical barrier surgical or the iod's interuterine devices and explain them as well for the sixth question uh, there were no half way characteristics in fn progeny because when the dominant is uh, present even in heterozygous condition it is able to express themselves whereas the one which is not able to express themselves is the recessive trait you can also explain the law of dominance in this one for the b part you need to just elaborate this diagram in the whole that how the father's genes are different x and y so it uh, decides the genes what the child's uh, gender would be for the seventh question part a it will be uterus for part b it is oviduct for c it is ovary and for d it is placenta for section b question number 8 a uh, human made ecosystem are those that are made by uh, artificially by human interference you can even write more about it and then give an example like aquarium and then uh, is it self sustaining it is no because they don't contain various biological pathways like energy flow or the food chain food web and they also don't contain decomposers that help to clean the environment by themselves for the ninth question first part carbon have low melting and boiling point because the though the bonds are strong the intermolecular forces are weak this causes the bonds to break easily so they have less boiling and melting point for the second one they do not conduct electricity because they do not contain free electron plus they cannot ionize for the third one you need to explain why c4 plus and c4 minus cannot be formed for the b part of the ninth question you need to tell uh, what are homologous series that is a group of series of ca- uh, carbon compounds which differ by ch2 and difference in molecular mass is of 14 u or the atomic unit how the carbon compounds vary melting point boiling point as the ma- uh, atomic mass increases gradually so they'll follow a definite trend and increase whereas the chemical properties are same as the functional group are same in a homologous series for the 10th question the periodic law here is newland's law of octave the two features are it shows the similarity of property of the eighth element with the first element and it is easier to understand and uh, shows a systematic study of elements the anomalies are it is only applicable up to calcium and some elements like cobalt and nickel cerium and lanthanum were placed in the same group just to fit in the periodic table 
for the 11th one solenoid is a coil of many circular turns of copper wire in the form of a cylinder you need to draw the diagram of solenoid given in the ncrt and the region where the magnetic field is uniform is inside the solenoid 12th part day the first question would be uh, there was when this td current there will be no difference or the change in magnetic flux related to the coil so there will be no deflection but when the key is plugged in there is change in the current which causes a change in the magnetic flux causing a deflection in the galvanometer when the key is plugged out there is again deflection but it will be in the opposite direction as the magnetic flux is changing again for the third one we needed to explain what is electromagnetic induction and how it is occurring here for the B part of the question, first one, AB will experience a force downward, CD will experience a force upward with the Fleming's left hand rule. Uh, this one, the reversing or the flow of current will be by the split rings which are P and the Q. Third one, will AB will experience a force upward, CD will experience it downward. Fourth part, it will be by the Fleming's left hand rule. Thirteenth question, we need to explain the whole dihybrid cross and the law of independent assortment given by Mendel. Fourteenth question, uh, this will be in total 40 uh, ohm. For the B part, the parallel combination, this will be 30, this will be 60, which will give us 20 ohm equivalent resistance. The current flow through the ammeter, the total equivalent resistance is 60, which will give us 0.1 ampere of current to the ammeter here. For the second part, if the B part is removed, here this will only remain and all will be in series. So the 100 ohm uh, resistance is what we find here, thus 6 by 100 which will give 0 0.06 ampere. For the last question 15th, question number A which takes binary fission in a definite orientation. Definite orientation means as Leishmania is an example of this where it takes place longitudinally and it causes the disease named as Kalazar. Two advantages of producing plants through vegetative propagation, there are many advantages. First is plaster production of, faster production of flowers and fruits, there is a cheaper method and then there are desirable characteristics that can be preserved and the plants that do not produce viable seeds like bananas, oranges can also reproduce through this. For the C part, you needed to show the diagram and the whole process of how a bud forms and it detaches from the hydra. And for the second part of C or part, a spirogyra, when it attains a considerable length, it undergoes reproduction through fragmentation. You needed to elaborate the fragmentation process. And the second one, uh, when a sporangia bursts, the spores are released, and you need to explain how the spores are released and how they uh, again form a new rhizopus. That's all for today. Thank you.